Welcome to Crafting at Home with the OC Public Libraries. I'm Jesse from the Fountain Valley Branch and today we'll be making a scale butterfly. For this craft you will need two large scales, four small scales, four 16 gauge 3 8 inch rings, one 18 gauge 3 16 inch ring, one 18 gauge quarter inch ring, two pliers preferably needle nosed. Optional items are a necklace chain, cross hole snap hair clip, pin with three holes in the backing, extra 18 gauge quarter inch rings or smaller. To assemble your butterfly, start with one large scale and two small scales. Place one small scale on top of the large scale and one behind it all facing the same direction. Loop a 16 gauge 3 8 inch ring through all three scales. close the ring. Repeat the same process with the other three scales. Now pick up your scales and then you're going to rotate the bottom one so that it lays underneath the large one and the ring is to the outside edge. Repeat with the other set of scales but make sure the ring is on the opposite side. Next, you will loop a 16 gauge 3 8 inch ring through the first two rings, making sure it lays flatly on top. Once looped, close the ring. Make sure the bottom small scales stay in the same orientation they were. Flip your butterfly so you're looking at the underside of the scales. Adjust the scales as need be so that they're in the same orientation they were previously. Now that your butterfly is upside down, loop your last 16 gauge ring through the first two rings. Once looped, close the ring. Adjust the scales again to make sure they're in the correct orientation. Next, we will add an 18 gauge 3 16 inch ring to the bottom of your butterfly. This will help it uh, keep its shape. You will be looping the ring through both the front and the back ring. It will take a little bit of force to hold the wings open so that you can get the ring through both the front and the back ring. Close the small ring. Now we will be doing the same to the top, but this time you will use an 18 gauge quarter inch ring. This is a little more difficult because now the scales are in a tighter formation, so it will take a little bit more force to get it through. Once the ring is looped through both the front and the back, close the ring. Adjust the scales as needed, and now you have your butterfly. To make the butterfly into a hair clip, you will need a cross hole snap hair clip and extra 18 gauge quarter inch rings or smaller to attach the clip to the back of the butterfly. 
If you prefer a brooch, find a pin with three holes in the backing and use 18 gauge quarter inch rings or smaller to attach it to the back of the butterfly. Here I will be turning the butterfly into a necklace. I will use a 20 gauge 1 8 inch ring and then a necklace chain. Attach the small 20 gauge 1 8 inch ring to the top ring of the butterfly. Then loop your necklace chain through. And this is what the necklace looks like. You can mix and match different scales to make different patterns. Have fun making your butterflies, and we'll see you in the next crafting video. Bye!